the entire head of hair with my half inch hot tools curling iron, the upper portion near the bumper bang, about four inch by four inch section in the front, I curled with a three quarter inch for a looser curl. I'm smoothing them all out with fingers, breaking apart the curls, and I'm using my Spornet uh, teasing brush, which really smooths the hair beautifully, and you can use it to lightly tease. It's, it's a fantastic brush. I don't know where it's been all my life. Now what you're going to do is grab that bumper bang area that we curled with a three-quarter inch and just tease sections with your Spornet teasing comb. And um, it's a, probably a, a nice thin half-inch section of hair I'm grabbing and really under, you know, teasing under it. You can spray a little hairspray on that. And I'm smoothing that out into my front bumper wave and pinning it with the duckbills. Now for the rest of this, just smooth the top of the hair in your S-wave pattern. Find the S-wave and clip those into place so they don't move anywhere because we're going to lightly tease the bottom portion of this hair, the curly portion, underneath with our Spornet teasing, teasing brush like I'm doing here. And now just lightly with your hands, you know, you can brush it and kind of smooth, smooth it, smooth those curls. You see I've got it pinned all the way around so that the bottom half is the curl and the top half is the smooth, more S waves. And you can give it a light spray. If you've got a little longer hair like this doll head, I'm tucking the um, length underneath and pinning it uh, to create that shorter, shorter look. You can see the duck bills are under there. I'm going to remove those in a minute and replace them with bobby pins. But just lightly spray with your working hair spray, the Sebastian. You can keep using the Sebastian and brush it and it won't get flaky or crusty. And now start removing your duckbill clips and smooth that hair gently with the hands and you know neatly form your S waves. I'm just going around gently and removing these duckbill clips. And now just softly with your hands and your and your fine tooth comb, smooth it out, spray your your hairspray. This will be a firmer hold as well. Pull out your clips. Keep smoothing. It's looking gorgeous. You can do it. And now pull out those front clips at the end. Here we go. Just, just more smoothing. Just keep polishing and smoothing it, you know. Get it as smooth as possible. You can use a little of that Suavecita pomade on that too for the flyaways. It adds a little shine. Now in the front, I'm removing that duckbill clip. And I'm just um, going to use some bobby pins, see? Just to kind of pin those lengths at the bottom under to give it that more 50s bombshell length and a rounded roundedness at the bottom and there you go give it a little final finishing spray and you're good to go you are a bombshell